view of xylem and flow a little diagram here we're just going to bring up and <clears throat> so we have a few questions about the xylem and flow and the main what we're going to learn about today is just the fact that the xylem here which is the kind of more the it's in, it's not the heartwood but it, this blocks it out right here and it's not alive it's dead and it transports uh, water up in, up to to the leaves uh, leaves lose a lot of water through transpiration so the they need the xylem to uh, kind of flow water up to the uh, leaves of the trees of the tree the phloem can go both ways they can send uh, water up sap up and sap down because the whole point of a tree is to it produces uh, it produces sugar sap and it, it deposits that sap in the roots during the winter time and in the spring that sap flows up it to get, to get ready to give energy for the uh, to make the new leaves uh, in the springtime if you're in a deciduous forest and temperate temperate forest so those are the two differences between them uh, and the phloem is on, it's just on the other side of the bark. This little diagram doesn't show, but the phloem would be here on, on the inner part of the bark. And the xylem again is in the uh, kind of more the interior. And it's, it's, those cells are not alive. The phloem cells are alive. It's living tissue, whereas the xylem is not living tissue. So there's some differences between the xylem and phloem. And it gives what gives the uh, plant, gives trees the ability to, to become larger, to grow taller, because that xylem creates support for the tree. And obviously, phloem, xylem both enables nutrients and water to get up higher up into the uh, tree versus plants that don't have a xylem phloem can, can only get them get a couple inches off the ground. So uh, those are some important differences. Uh, the video we're watching today also, well, talks about how uh, plants have a, also just like humans have a diploid and haploid. In humans, the haploid are the re reproductive cells, but with plants, they're a little different in that during uh, the, the hap, haploid stage, they can actually uh, kind of go into a, a mitosis. They can start to grow like we grow through mitosis. And so there's some things we kind of needed to, to kind of review. Remember, mitosis are exact copies of the cells, whereas the um, the, ga the uh, gametes or the uh, haploid cells that uh, are for reproduction they're different uh, so you um, it a little bit different between animal cells and plant cells but during that plant cells can actually kind of go through a uh, growth phase when they are haploid or when they're when when they are reproductive equivalent to our reproductive cells they only have one set of chromosomes uh, whereas during mitosis, during uh, their diploid, there's two sets of chromosomes. So those are some things that we kind of the, uh, missed. Uh, the video talks about that uh, you know we need to kind of discuss a little bit before um, he, uh, we start watching the video. Hopefully that uh, that gives you guys a little enables you to answer some of those questions prior to us getting started on the video.